Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another love right love reading for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not res <coughs> Ooh. This will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it is not your story, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it as I tend to go into very specific things here on this channel. Um, therefore, cross watchers, you are very welcome here. However, I do not know how to... <laughs> I almost said communicate. Someone doesn't know how to communicate. I do not know how to sugarcoat. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. And uh, remember, take what resonates. Leave the rest for who it was meant to reach. Virgos, let's see what we got going on. We're going to look at how you're feeling towards your person, how your person's feeling towards you, and the mutual energy between you both. This is your person. I'm sorry. This is you. This is your person. But roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. But now I think it's reversed. This might be your person. This might be you, Virgo. I don't know. Why do I feel like I'm talking to a cross watcher? Cross watchers. Are you here? <laughs> All right, Virgo. This is you. I'm going to read this as you. This is your person. But I feel like someone's checking up on you. A cross watcher's checking up on you. Because this two of cups is crazy here. Oh, I got the chills. I feel like someone's trying to check up on your relationship. This two of cups is hot, like super duper hot. Virgos, you have the two of cups, the eight of swords in reverse, the lovers and the nine of cups. Why is someone hoping that you guys <laughs> aren't happy in your love life? I feel like somebody is hoping you're not happy in your connection or your dating or your love life. I feel like this is an outside source. I feel like there's definitely an eye on your connection or relationship. Remember, we are um, in Mercury retrograde. Exes, old flings, old flames, old traumas, old triggers, old wounds, booty calls, one night stands. They all come back around this time if it's unresolved. We're also in uh, Venus is in Scorpio. Venus rules love, Scorpio rules jealousy, obsession, stalking, secrets, mystery. Um, so I feel like there is some sort of deceptive outside energy watching y'all, Virgos. The Two of Cups is here. You see that evil eye? Yuck. Two of Cups is a relationship. It is a connection. It is a marriage. It is someone that you may be bound to, someone that you have, someone that you're tied down to is what I'm getting. I do feel there's somebody. Oh, <laughs> oh there it goes. <laughs> I do feel like there is someone. Something about hair. I'm hearing chopped off hair. Chopped off hair. And I'm seeing like a sleeping fish for some reason. I don't know why. <sighs> I'm getting magic loves. For some of you that don't believe in magic, perfectly fine. But for those of you that do, remember TikTok made it real cool to do witchcraft, <laughs> which I don't approve of or agree with, but I don't do that. But um, yeah, someone's doing some type of magic to break you and your partner up or to have you guys have problems. But for some of you that don't believe in that, obviously it's just someone who's very jealous, who is manifesting and wishing bad on your connection, okay, which can manifest in that. So I consider that bad juju, bad energy. I do feel there's a sleeping fish here who doesn't know, or I don't think you even know, could be dealing with a Pisces. I'm, I'm hearing gator, a gator fish, which I don't even know if that's a thing, but I'm hearing gator fish. A hole in one. I'm hearing a hole in one. I don't know what this means. Y'all can let me know in the comments if it resonates. I just heard you were supposed to love me. You were supposed to love me. I think someone did magic on you in the past, Virgos. Or they did magic like a binding or a spell or a love candle or something. And I don't think it really worked and they're upset because I think either you're dating or you're with someone or for those of you that have been in a connection, you didn't leave the person, right? Like, I don't know. There's something very strange about it. 
But there is the evil eye here. There is jealous energy. There is the eight of swords here where it is breaking free, right? That is not working. This is a, a breakthrough, um, not being bound. Either the magic didn't work or it's not working or this person definitely wants to break you and your person up with this lovers in reverse Gemini energy. Breaking free, separation, detachment, departure, and the nine of cups in reverse, an unhappy home. Someone, and, and I feel like it, I, I feel like it's, like it's an outside energy that is, look at, there's three people everywhere and there's like more people. Three, third party, breaking free, that little crock eye, and then the lovers in reverse means to, <sighs> Adam and Eve, right? The apple, the snake in the grass. The snake in the grass with the apple. There is someone who doesn't want you with your partner or your person, Virgo. The lovers in reverse talks about detachment, separation, divorce, breakup. And the nine of cups is an unhappy home again with a third person in the card. So crazy because this deck was calling for me to use it. I almost used my Game of Thrones tarot. Someone's trying to, someone either really does not want you with whoever you're with or they really don't want you dating, Virgo. Over here in your person's energy, four of pentacles, the chariot, the six of wands, and the magician. In reverse, both of these in reverse as well as the four of pentacles. This person thinks that if you break up with someone or you are not dating someone... that you'll come back. For some of you, there's someone that likes your partner. For some of you, there's someone that likes your partner or the person you're talking to or dealing with. Some of you, this isn't for you anyways. It's for your partner. But whoever it is, someone is watching you and whoever you're dealing with, Virgo. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. I want to dissolve this connection. I want to I want them to release whatever love or bond or connection they have to each other. Someone is even like something about a tattoo. Something about a tattoo, something about the number 6. I just keep hearing I don't want them to be happy. I keep seeing black hair. Black hair, black hair. I saw it here and I saw it there. Someone's very hollow inside. Someone feels very empty inside. And I'm hearing kick the boot. Kick the boot, kick the boot. Four of pentacles means releasing. The chariot means, it's cancer energy, but it means slow forward movement. I also feel like, like I'm seeing train tracks slowly rolling. I feel like this person is thinking like if they could just separate, I may have a chance. And with the six of wands is here because Virgo may not notice me. Virgo doesn't notice me, doesn't pay attention to me. And I don't win Virgo at the end of this. I'm not going to win Virgo at the end of this. The magician in reverse, therefore, Taurus energy. I need to manipulate the situation, the connection. I need to, this is also black magic loves. I need to figure out a way. Anyway, the magician in reverse is a manipulator. It is dark magic. It is ulterior motives. It is a master um, manipulator. I'm seeing like a giant octopus, which is very strange. Like I'm seeing like also like a voodoo doll for some of y'all, but not all of y'all. It's like a very weird one, like a little doll with button eyes. Um, I feel like this person has something very weird up their sleeve. I don't even know if they're going to like st start rumors or something. Okay. They're, did this just move or was it the card? They're doing something on your connection or your relationship, Virgo. Oh, I got the chills in the mutual energy. 
page of wands in reverse and the seven of wands ching out page of wands in reverse is someone who's trying to set up a plan okay upright this is someone very carefree very happy very you know go lucky and i'm coming with a message and i'm coming to tell you how i feel but it can never just be that easy virgo in reverse i'm gonna come up with a plan and a serious one the seven of wands in reverse because i don't want to deal with competition upright this is competition this is battle this is defensiveness fighting and in reverse i'm not gonna fight for this i don't want competition i need virgo to be completely free and i'm gonna get virgo free any way i can i have to manipulate it underneath the deck the nine of wands you might have this person blocked this person might be blocked from a lot of things. I'm hearing nine inch nails, which is very strange. Um, <laughs> yeah, this person has no in to your connection, to your relationship, to your life, to your marriage, to your pictures, whatever it is. It's a very sticky situation is what I'm getting. They feel stuck. But they're wanting a glimpse into your world, into your connection for some reason. This Sag energy has them like going nuts. Retrograde has them going nuts. And the Ten of Wands, it's like, they want you to drop it. They just want you to drop whoever and whatever this is. There is a tower moment coming, my loves. Um, don't worry, though. Don't stress about it. But there is some sort of, like, bad news or bad luck coming. Or this person's going to run into some bad luck or some bad news trying to really sabotage this connection, okay? Let's get some love messages. I'm sorry, Virgo, this is hella weird. If this message resonates, let me know in the comments because, geez, y'all have been going through some weird, weird energy lately. This month has been wild. Let's get some love messages for Virgo. Like I said, if you want a love reading or book a reading, anything, go to my website, lunajadebotanica.com or my Etsy. Everything is in the um, description below. Please give me a chance. <laughs> Someone wants a chance with you, Virgo. Mesmerized by you. I want no competition. I want you for myself. I am mesmerized by you. Interference. They are trying to interfere in your connection, my loves. And you're kind of like, I'm so over it. I'm over this. I don't think this person's going to stop. I will never settle down. It's someone from your past. Leave the past in the past. Let's see if we could get some soul confessions here. Give me a soul confession. Well, that flew out. Those two flew out. I'm miserable. I'm struggling. I feel like you're losing love and attraction for me. Yeah, so I, this might be someone from your past, Virgo. These are way too many, so I'm going to leave. Uh, redo this. Show me some soul confessions. I'm not happy. I'm just comfortable. Their hope, it keeps wanting to come out backward, like reverse. They're hoping that you're not happy, but I think that you're like really, like you really are, Virgo. It, it's telling me to leave it upside down this way. I think you are. They're just praying that you're miserable with whoever or being, you know, miserable being single or miserable being taken or dating or talking or married or whatever. They're hoping you're not happy. But I don't think you're as unhappy as they hope you are, okay? And in their energy, the anger and aggression is too much for me. Your words cut too deep. I have commitment issues because I don't know how to trust. That's weird. Give me one more. This person's upset, upset. <laughs> Feeling single. They want you single. Or they're upset because they're single and you're not. I have too many skeletons in my closet. They're doing the most right now. They're doing way too much to do to separate you or to cause problems for you, Virgo, okay? We break each other's hearts as a form of fighting. Yeah, they're trying to break your heart. 
so you could slowly make your way back to them or to them to begin with. My loves, that is what I have for you. I'm so happy with you. And I miss you. I miss us. So crazy. All right, Virgos, that's what I have for you. I'm really sorry that was a weird message. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. But I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you all so much. And I'll talk to you soon.